the Embry of Cambodia. Uh, we stay here many, many times in the past prior to COVID. The last time that we were here were, was in 2018, and there were a lot. This place was busy, jam-packed with people. Now, today, uh, we stay for a week here, and this place is huge. What, what's impacting the uh, economy here? Um, it was closed down for about two years uh, during COVID, and finally this place was reopened here. Uh, the, the workers, it was in April. And as of last night, there were only two uh, rooms that were being uh, uh, rented out, our family and another family. So we have the whole um, hotel resort to ourselves, which is nice, but at the same time too, it's kind of sad to see this place that is so once alive and with lots of tourists and people come from all over and, and uh, to enjoy this place here. And now there's hardly anyone here, as you can see, except workers. Again, they said they were, uh, they closed this place down in uh, the, uh, for a couple years and just reopened it in uh, April this year. Beautiful, beautiful five-star resort. We enjoy staying here because, you know, it's very convenient, it's beautiful, the room is, I mean, it's amazing and uh, we have great, great swimming pool, um, several pools in, in the uh, hotel uh, uh, campus, I guess. So I'm going through here, it's a, I'm gonna walk through here and just kind of show you from the outside. Going to here is the entrance. Normally, when you come in in the morning or people check in, they have people to greet you here and wait for you here at the at the entrance here. I love this place too because it is always nice and green and lots of tree, lots of flower, and you know, just pretty incredible just to be here. And it's really sad to see this place that is once so alive. And now it's like, I, I told a girl last night, she was working the front desk by herself. I said, you know, to her, like, is she, is she, isn't she afraid of the ghost? Maybe she was all by herself in the uh, reception. I said, oh, look at this. So here's the entrance to show to you here. Now that person there is the worker, as you can see. Usually when we check in, people greet us and have us sit here in the lobby waiting for beverage drink while they're getting our room uh, ready. You won't own it all. So the reception is a beautiful living room here. As you can see here, it's pretty amazing. well maintained even though there's hardly anyone here the place is still um, kept well kept by the uh, workers and a lot of workers still here I guess they still part of their job they still stay here and get the place clean up and do some maintenance work some remodeling that's what they were saying 
go down here into the garden and show you the swimming pool. What's how this place look like here in the back. Great, beautiful pond with a lot of koi over like that. Beautiful fish. My daughter once stood right there when she was about five years old. Took a picture right there, now she's 15. So like I said, we stayed in this place many, many times before. And we really enjoy staying here because it's just so beautiful. And it's also right in the, uh, the city of uh, See them re up, it's not too far from Angkor Wat. You know, we, we kind of check out, we want to stay in the other hotel, but we, at the end, we always come back here because we always, you know, like this place so much. Jasmine, jasmine trees, lots of, lots of flowers that bloom there. There's a terrace of the elephant head still there. I'm gonna go walk through here and just kind of show you the garden there. Ooh, beautiful place for picture. So last night, um, our family, my kid, we came here and swam, you know, about between 8 to 10 o'clock. And we were the only people that were here. And we had the entire swimming pool to ourselves. Look at that. Look at the pool, guys. How can this place not have, you know, any other customer or... or uh, So this place hasn't been the same since COVID, that's what the workers said. But what I noticed too is that they, they don't advertise as much as other hotels because when I go in uh, to uh, booking.com, you know, I was trying to look for this place here and it doesn't even show. I don't know how they get the customer or, or uh, uh, in the past, but. All I know is like, you know, in 2018, when we were here, um, you know, even in the evening or sometime, even in the middle of the day, this pool here is just full, full of people. Now it's like, look at this, nobody, nobody. And right now it's about seven o'clock in the morning. And I asked the front desk girl, I said, how many people were staying in this entire hotel here? Um, last night and she said it was just us and another family so here you go how sad is that When my kids were smaller, they really enjoyed coming here. They enjoyed the swimming pool so much. And they also have a small playground right here that kids really, really enjoy. And I remember behind here is a lotus pond. You know, I'm gonna show you the pond. It has a lot of lotus flower. Still here, it's still blooming. A lot of coconut trees, palm trees. My goodness, this is like paradise.
as you can see now, you, as you can hear, there's no other sound other than the sound of the insects chirping. This place is huge. You know, like I, like I said, this is the main, up here is the main building. And the room is always, see this right here, back here. This, these are all the properties, see all those buildings behind the swimming pool there. These are all pro part of the properties and their the room. Nobody's here. How nice and well kept the garden. Hopefully one day, you know, um, this place will come alive again and, and uh, bringing back the tourists to, to this place here. I have to walk through here. Reception area here. People want to get married here, and they really did a good job in uh, building this and have this um, Apsara picture, like in the Angkor Wat. Look at that. I like that. Here's the famous elephant head. This tree, I'm not, I'm not sure what it calls here. Like they almost like a banana, but it's not a banana tree. But the leaf is so beautiful. That's the thing about Cambodia is that you know the weather here is so warm and humid, tropical, and you can probably pretty much grow almost anything here. It will grow. guys I don't have any food for you look like they're really really hungry Breakfast. You know, right? They used to have a really nice um, breakfast buffet every morning here, and now they just, since there's nobody here, just us, you know, we um, can order out of the menu really, really good food, Western as well as some uh, Asian, <coughs> uh, Cambodian food as well. Here's some jasmine for you. Stand. 
onions here. Our room is just right there on the second floor. Yes, us to ourselves. All right, I'm gonna stop the video right here. Thank you for watching. Hopefully one day you guys come over and stay at this place here. It's a five-star resort. You know, the, it's a little bit pricey, you know, uh, in Cambodia. Average room costs about 100, and, right now it's $120 per night. We uh, stay for every two nights that we stay, we get one night free. So it's not too bad. It probably it'd come up to about, what? $80, $80 a night or so. But for having this place to ourselves and, you know, compare what it looks like. I mean, what's, what they have to offer us, this is like incredible, incredible value. I am here to have a breakfast this morning here. Just me, the kids are still sleeping. I just want to show you what the uh, uh, dining uh, area looked like. Look at that. Oh, bye to myself. Bye, hold on. So I'll be sitting right here. already order my breakfast so I'm waiting if I want to share this view with you guys look at that got all this place to myself my breakfast just arrived so I ordered here I got uh, fried eggs this is called the uh, continental breakfast and some bacon some uh, salad glass of iced coffee and orange juice 